Hey, how's it going you guys? This is Trent here at Rexburg Motorsports here to do another vehicle walk around. Today, we're gonna go over the Can-Am Maverick Trail. Now the Can-Am Maverick Trail comes in two different motor sizes, a thousand and then an 800. This one's the thousand. They also come with power steering or non-power steering. So this is the best of the best. This is the thousand with power steering. We'll kind of show you some of the cool features on this machine that make it an awesome option if you're looking to jump into the trail legal side by side. Now, just real quick, we've got three machines that fit into that 50 inch category that are fully um, for recreational use. You've got the Can-Am Maverick Trail, the Wildcat Trail that we went over a few weeks ago, and then the Polaris uh, Razor Trails in both the 570 and the 900. Now, the Can-Am is gonna be the biggest one uh, that, that you can get. It's got the, the, the 1,000 as opposed to 900 and 700 and 570 from the competitors, um, but in dimensions, it's also the biggest. Um, if you wanna come take a look at this thing, this, this machine, both in wheelbase and in overall length, is a full foot longer than the Polaris 900 Trail. Um, now, the big thing that helps with that is it gives you a smoother ride over consecutive bumps. You get less that teeter-totter feel. Um, so that long wheelbase really gives you a good smooth ride. Now, a big thing that Can-Am did to make it so that the big long wheelbase wouldn't hurt you on the trails is they gave it a really good steering geometry where those steering, those, those front wheels will turn out really good to keep you having a tight steering circle. Um, so awesome, awesome machine right there. Now, with this machine, just like the Wildcat Trail, you've got 10 inches of suspension travel up front and you've got 10 and a half in the back. Um, that gives you 10 inches of ground clearance to get you over those rocks and logs that you'll come across on the trail. Um, with these Maverick trails, you've got a 26 inch tire um, that comes stock on this. And we've had good luck going all the way to a 28 on these. Um, something like the, the GBC Dirt Commander that you can get in a 20 inch tire and keep with these stock 12 inch rims are awesome. Um, give you tons of grip. But with these stock tires, again, they're a great stock tire, give you lots of grip, and uh, last you a pretty good while throughout the season. Now, with the motor packages that come on these Maverick Trail, again, you've got the 800 and you've got the 1000. The 800 gives you 51 horsepower, uh, whereas the 1000 gives you 75, which equals the 900 Trail from Polaris. The big thing with this, though, is you get more displacement, so a little bit more torque on tap. Um, from this big V twin. Um, let's go inside just right quick and I'll show you some of the cool features that they've got with these Can-Am trails. Now one of the big things that you're going to notice um, first and foremost when you're taking those long trail rides are these seats. Can-Am seats are like memory foam in comparison with others on the market. These seats have lots of side bolstering um, for both your legs and your, and your body to keep you nice and planted. But again, you'll notice that that seat foam is really great on those big long trail rides. Um, you've got an adjustable driver seat that'll move you forward and back quite a bit. And that's actually one thing that uh, is gonna give you an advantage again with that big long width length that it's got um, is the Can-Am offers you more cabin space. So for those tall guys out there, you'll fit in this one better than you will in the others. Um, because it's longer, they give you more leg space, more, more room to move around for those bigger guys. And again, with that adjustable seat, the short drivers like myself can still fit in it good. Um, now I'll show you these, these thousands come with the full half doors um, that you can see on here. And they are great for keeping that mud and dirt out from hitting you as you're driving down the trail. And they seal off real nice. Um, with the Can-Ams, we'll so go over some show of you what you can do like on uh, these Maverick trails to give you a good uh, ride. So we'll start off with this transmission. This is a belt drive transmission, just like the others in the class um, with the, the Wildcat trail and the Polaris 900 trail. So you've got the park gear, You've got reverse, you've got neutral, you've got high, and you've got low. Um, now that low range is what you're gonna be doing if you're doing the really um, hard technical high load um, climbs or rock crawling. 
and then high is going to be the stuff that you'll be doing for the majority of your driving, which is great. Um, Can-Am gives you two drive modes with this machine. So they've got eco mode and sport mode. What this does is it changes the ignition timing and fuel mapping as well as pedal response and steering response to give you either a sportier feel or something that's a little bit lower um, on the fuel consumption and a little less aggressive. They also come with this switch right here that gives you um, a locked or unlocked rear differential. Um, why that's a big deal is if you're on the dirt, in the snow, on the mud, this locked rear diff is going to give you the best amount of traction. If you're driving around on your own lawn or if you're on the pavement, the unlocked rear diff is awesome because it won't tear up your grass and it won't tear up your tires on the asphalt. And then right here you've got the two-wheel drive and four-wheel drive modes. Now, again, with the rear diff you can unlock and lock it in either of the modes. But with the four-wheel drive, the front differential is a li limited slip, viscous locking front diff. So it will automatically lock for you as one tire starts spinning too much, it's gonna lock in that other tire to give you the best bite in the snow, mud, and rocks. Uh, awesome, awesome machine. With this machine, you've got the tilt wheel, and you can see how much adjustment you've got in there. So um, to make it nice and easy to get in there, you can tip it all the way up, and then you can bring it down just about as far as you want to give, it, give you a good aggressive feel. And notice that gauge cluster moves with the steering wheel to keep you being able to see right where you need to be at. On this gauge cluster, I'll show you just a couple little things. So you've got your gear indicator right here. You've got your four-wheel drive mode, and then you've got your gas uh, indicator right here. You've also got a couple things that you can change on the main screen. So this right here is at miles per hour right now. If you push this button, you'll go to odometer. You can see a grand total of zero miles on this machine. Uh, a clock, trip, and then how many hours have been placed on the machine and how many hours you need to go until your next service. Uh, so pretty cool gauge right there and then it's got a couple warning lights. Now this has got the, the fuel warning light and then a couple of these other ones, you've got uh, electronic belt um, protection mode on this. It'll show you a little light when that belt's getting a little too hot to let you know to calm down it a little bit or let the, let the belt cool down just a little bit. With these Can-Am Maverick trails, they are an awesome option if you're looking to jump into the trail and a side-by-side -side game. Uh, they give you a lot of great features, lots of power with this thousand. Another big thing that I want to show you is this roll cage. This roll cage is breathed out on both sides so that your windshields will fit in snugly. So they, you won't get the wind noise and uh, stuff like that when, you get, when you've got just a round cage that you just bolt a, a windshield onto. So Can-Am really thought about everything with this machine. We would love for you to uh, come out and check this out and drive one for yourself. Uh, come on in to Rexburg Motorsports and we'll, we'll show you how you can get out on the trail and have some fun on these machines. Thanks again for watching, we appreciate it a ton. Thanks.